Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to convert a photo to a frame. So we're going to go from this photo to this to this. So let's get started. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to take a photograph and turn it into a custom frame. So you've probably been searching uh, on how to convert a, a, a photo uh, into a frame because sometimes frames just aren't available. You know, you might want like a cookie frame, you might, might want a bottle frame, you might want, um, you know, any type of frame where you can drop a photo inside. So. Um, let's go through the steps. It's pretty, pretty simple. And most of the um, items that are needed are free. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to use uh, a photo of the Statue of Liberty. And I'm going to convert that into a frame. So I'm going to come into Elements. And um, I've got already the Statue of Liberty here, but I'm going to I'm going to um, search maybe for another one. Um, I mean, it really does not matter um, which one you choose, um, so long as it's a photograph. So I'll just use this one for now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the photo, and I'm going to remove the background. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a effect called duotone to make this black okay so i'm going to come into custom and i'm going to update both the highlights and the shadows to black okay i'm going to make this a little bit bigger And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download this as a transparent PNG. So I've got PNG, I've got transparent, and I'm going to download this. Now, I probably should have titled it. I didn't. But um, what I'll do is I'll just title it um, from here. So this is it. So I'm going to, oops. <coughs> going to call this Statue of Liberty PNG. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to set that aside right now. And um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open uh, up uh, a browser and we're going to go to this browser called uh, Convert IO File Converter. Uh, this application. This is 100% free. Um, you don't need to log in, nothing. So we're going to say choose files and we're going to go to the Statue of Liberty, which I just downloaded. I'm going to open it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to a vector graphics SVG. Okay, and once I'm, I've done that, I'm going to come here and I'm going to press the Convert button. Okay, so now I'm going to download that file, which is going to be an SVG. Okay, and there it is. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is you can open up either um, Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. It doesn't matter which one you open. Um, Word is tech, uh, typically free if you're using the online version. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use. So here is my Microsoft Word. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Insert Picture 
and from this device, and I'm going to search for my SVG file, which I believe is this one right here. So my computer is not recognizing the SVG file because uh, I guess I don't have an app that can open SVG files, but it's right here, even though it's showing as a Microsoft uh, Edge uh, HTML file, but that's it right there. So I'm just going to insert it. And once you insert it, whether you're in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, you're going to get a little button called Convert to Shape. So um, you can select that, Convert to Shape. Now, in when you're in PowerPoint, you're going to get another box around it, which you can delete. Uh, but in Word, um, there is no other box. This is what we're going to get. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to fill this shape because right now it's empty. So we're going to fill this shape with a um, another image. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but uh, that's how you're going to convert this to a frame. So we're going to go to Shape Fill, and we're going to go to Picture, and you can either go to your own photos to find a photo, or you're going to you can go to Stock Images. It really does not matter. So I, um, uh, you know, I'm just going to go to Stock Images, and I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to insert it. Okay, so now we can see we've got that image inside my frame. I'm going to go to File now, and I'm going to Save As. And I'm going to save, that, save this as my uh, Statue of Liberty Frame for Canva. And I'm going to save it as a PDF file. Okay, and I'm going to save it in my downloads so I know where to find it. And I'm now going to go back to Canva. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to add another page. So here's my other page. I'm going to go to my uploads and I am going to upload a file. And I'm going to upload that PDF file, which I just downloaded from Microsoft Word or if you're using PowerPoint, PowerPoint. I'm going to open it and you can see over here that it's uploading that into my projects folder. So you have to go to projects to find it. And here it is. This is my um, frame, which I downloaded from Microsoft Word. And I'm going to select it. And it's going to take it to my workspace. OK, so here it is. OK. Now, the final step here is just click in here and just press delete. Once you press delete, it will leave you with the empty frame. OK, so here I go. OK, and here is the frame. And now you can put anything you like in this frame. So for example, um, if you want to put um, a picture of um, I don't know. Uh, let's search for poppies. Okay. So uh, maybe we'll put this in here. And now, like any other frame, you just need to, to move it over the frame and it gets dropped right into the frame. Okay. And now, you know, you can do anything you like with this like you would any other frame. You can toggle the transparency. You can uh, add a background. So let's say that I wanted to add a background of New York City. You could um, do that. Uh, so let's say I wanted to place that as my background and there's my frame. 
you know the the possibilities are are endless it's you know totally up to you what you want to do so let me just replace the background with that so there's another idea or you can uh, use that and um, you can e even put another photo in there if you wanted like this all right so I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to receive future updates right in your YouTube feed. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.